But this is satellite radar review. In case you missed it, there was a little bit of light rain moved across North Texas in the overnight hours. This runs from 11 o'clock last night to uh, 6 o'clock this morning. It went right over the Metroplex, you know, 2, 3 in this morning rather rapidly, and about four hundredths of an inch of rain was indicated. There's actually a cold front well behind that. It's getting, it, well, it's coming through North Texas now. Not really cold air behind it, but there is a wind shift behind it. So we had the south wind through, uh, well, up to now. And the south wind allowed for a very warm start to the day. And even despite the fact we got a cold front coming through, not that cold air behind it, like I said. So temperatures are going to get into the 80s is, is the, the gist of it, even with the northwest wind. That's that little bit of rain we got in the overnight. We'll take it. We're still in a drought condition, still waiting for a big October rain. Still have yet to get one. This is a live shot from Arlington right now. We're both uh, ballparks. So one covered, one soon to be covered, the new ballpark. But temperatures are into the mid-70s already. Watch uh, over the next hour, hour and a half. They kind of won't move because the front's coming through. They might even drop a degree, and then, then they'll start rising again with all the sunshine, dry air. I need to talk real quick about Tropical Storm Nestor. That's right, the Atlantic hurricane season's still going on. Now, this was a tropical storm. Now they consider it post tropical. It has 50 mile per hour winds. It's forecasted to come on shore today in the panhandle of Florida. They do have tropical storm warnings because they'll have winds up to 45 plus. And then it's going to move across the Carolinas and then exit out into the Atlantic by the time we get into late Sunday night into Monday morning. So it's going to move rather rapidly. Its legacy will be rain. Now there's some drought conditions in the Carolinas, so in some areas this is welcome rain, but six to eight inches of rain will cause some flooding issues there. Let's talk about here because here's that weak front passing through and temperatures into the 80s. So tomorrow morning we'll wake up with uh, temperatures in the 50s and We'll warm up into the into the 80s again uh, tomorrow. It's going to be mostly a very nice day. Now, what we're waiting for is as this front comes towards us, it rolls across and gives us some rain and thunderstorms that are gone by Monday morning. But the risk for severe weather kind of comes in two waves. OK, so listen closely because this this first one, the slight risk of afternoon storms is very slight. They're not by there might not be any storms develop at all. Uh, by the time we get into Sunday afternoon. But keep your eye to the west northwest because if you see a towering cloud there, that means the cap has broken. These storms could be very dangerous. Damaging winds, large hail, isolated tornadoes. That's if they develop way before the cold front. But as the cold front comes through in the overnight hours, that risk of severe weather gets very small with just damaging winds. But right now there's under slight risk because of these thunderstorms. You know what we could use from this is a little bit of rain. Uh, this is by the time we get to Monday, by the, it's, it's gone by Monday morning, but you can see in blue here up to an inch and in purple two to maybe up to two inches of rain in some areas. So maybe not a huge rain, but a welcome rain nonetheless. If you're waiting for some really cold air, you know, you don't have to wait to the end of this week. The coldest air yet coming in Friday. Temperatures go from the 70s on Thursday to the 50s for a high on Friday. We haven't had a high in the 50s since last May. So you can see that this might be one of those days, by the way, where the daytime high is at the midnight, so it's warmer than this. But the afternoon temperatures will be 50, so we're setting up for a cold Friday night football because it'll be very windy, by the way. And these temperatures, these temperatures are probably going to stay on the cool side at least for a day on Saturday, and then it's then it's going to get nice again. But that is going to be a significant cold front that comes through at the end of the work week. Jennifer. Now, keep